I'm open. Okay. Good morning, class. I'm, I'm putting the sharing. Who has screen shared this? Who's following this screen sharing? Okay. Shab, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Read out the first question, A1. Was Jeannie rich or poor? How do we know? Quote eight words and phrases from the story to support your answer. Okay. Now, answer A1. Jenny was poor. The words is the text that support this are Kindle inverted is open. Home was a little hut and inverted doors. Then single inverted the can open. Food was soup and bread. Single inverted closed. Then father kept sheep and single inverted. And instead of wearing a coat, he wrapped himself in a plaid for protection from the cold within the single environment. Then hands were hardened yeah. by work, all this in single inverted. And she helped her mother to cook and sew, to spin and weave on their looms. All this is in single inverted. So you write the words and phrases which indicate that yes, Jenny was poor. Okay, Shad, read out the second question. What did Jenny treasure why? Just, I need to solve this problem. No. Okay. Aditi, no, no, I can't hear you. I'm throwing out Aditi and a lock cake right now. Enough. I'm sick and tired of telling you all. And I'm closing the link so that you do not join in. Okay, answer two, A2. Jenny treasured her necklace of amber beads because they were beautiful and had been given to her by her grandmother on her 12th birthday. Shabd, read out A3. Mom? Hmm. Yes. Ma'am, I can't hear the answer. Can you repeat? Child, can you see the picture? Can you see the screen? No, ma'am. You can't see the screen? Children, you all no, can't see the screen. The screen is on sharing. Ma'am, I have seen it. Yeah, Ma'am, I, Ma I have also seen. It is visible, child. And in my mobile, it is not visible. There's a problem in your mobile, child. So even, even if I say it slowly, 
you will still not be able to write it. Shabd Mittal A3, question A3. What was special about Jenny's necklace of amber beads? Okay, answer A3. The amber beads on Jenny's necklace had the color of bright sunshine, gave off a lovely scent when rubbed, and some of the beads held moss, ferns, and insects within them. Shabd Mittal A4. What did Jenny's grandfather find out on the beach one day? What did he do with it? Okay, answer A4. Jenny's father found a lump of amber on the beach one day. He carved out beads from it and made a necklace which he gave his wife as a wedding gift. Shabd A5. How do insects get trapped inside amber? There, answer A5, there is a kind of pine that gives out shining yellow sticky fragrant sap. The insects get attracted by the smell and once they sit on the gum, they get stuck and the sap oozes over them and covers them. Thus they get trapped inside the hardened amber. Next question, Shabd. What brought the lump of amber close to a shore? Okay. Answer A6. A great storm brought the lump of amber close to the shore. Come to reference uh, reference to the context. Read out the B1. Whose let little Jenny have my amber beads and keep them as long as she lives. Who said these words? All of them read all A, B, C, D. How was Jenny related to the speaker? Why were the Amber beads precious for the speaker. Precious. The word is precious, not precious. Okay. Okay. So now okay. B1. B1. A question. The answer is Kenneth's wife. After that, this is to be written Jenny's grandmother. Kenneth's wife, Jenny's grandmother, said these words. Then B part. Jenny was the speaker's granddaughter. C part, the amber beads were precious for the speaker as her husband had carved them out himself and presented them to her as a wedding gift. Come to B2, Shabd. It was one of those great storms that had brought the lump of amber close to the shore where Jenny's grandfather found it, about which kind of storm is the narrator speaking in these lines? Who found the lump of amber? What did he do with it? Okay. So, your two A's, the author is speaking about the kind of storm that reaches right down to the seabed and causes disturbances in the sand on the seabed. B part, Jenny's grandfather found the lump of amber. Now B to C, he carved out beads from it and made a necklace of them which he gave to his wife as a wedding gift. Read out B3 with all its parts. When he gave the necklace to his wife, he did not know that he was giving her a little piece of nature and that his granddaughter would be it one day. Who is he in these lines? Why has the necklace been called a piece of nature? 
who was the person person's granddaughter okay now coming to b3 a the he in these lines is kenneth b3 b the necklace has been called a piece of nature because it made it was made of amber which is naturally formed by the hardening of sap from the bark of trees b3 c jenny was the person's granddaughter that's it now you are supposed to do the glossary you are supposed to do the word meaning you are supposed to do the question answers and reference to context am i clear yes ma'am Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, if you remember, yes, ma'am. Okay, if you remember, I have today in the morning. I have sent you one important notice telling you how you will get the exam. You remember? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now the instructions for giving the exams are given here. Take it on this page. supposing you come across any question in your mind you are free to ask me by sending me your audio recording on the group and i will answer it to you now i have attended one class of 8c 8c okay not 6c 8c there also i teach english and i have given in detail a full video of it telling them their problems etc asking all the possible answers which could be dealt during the exam so i will be sending you this video though it is not of your class i again repeat though this video is not of your class it is of 8c theek hai but in detail i have explained them about the exam so i'm sending that video because that would be of help to you also and in the end of that video i have given them some work of 8th class 8th that you can leave that you should not read and go through it but uh, how to go about with the exams i have done with them so i'm sending that video to you clear am i clear don't yes, get lost no. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So don't get confused that why ma'am is saying eight C. I only mean when I say eight C because I'm, I was telling them. But the same thing since I teach English there also and to you also. So the same thing I will be telling you. ठीक है? So I have made it a I have made a video, and I am sending it to you. Clear? And for these answers. Sit down and start doing and finish off your Jenny's amber beads. Write the index. Write the word meanings. Write the question answers. A one two three four and B one two three. Clear? Okay. Bye, class. Yes, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye. Bye.